hold on to your hats because you are watching Hat. That's me. And Joe Worker. That's him. You're watching Two Gays on a Couch, which is a show where two gays sit on a couch and talk. Two gays on a boat. Two gays on a horse. Two gays on a bike. Two gays on a couch. Yay! The gay topic for today is... Size! Size. Does it matter? This is going to be a very long segment. Or a short one. I don't know. Does it matter? I've talked about this in my comic strips before. Okay. Personally, for me, I don't care. Well, if you're talking, you're coming up from the point of view of a top. I am coming up from the point of view of a, uh, uh we prefer the term non-top. <laughs> so you, so you prefer smaller? I don't think I prefer it. I just don't really care that much. Like, yes, I top more often than not. Although I don't even have sex that much. But yes, in that regard, I guess it's less important. Sure, what about an oral sex though? Would do you, is there a size you like to have in your mouth? <laughs> I don't want to have to work that hard. No, I, I, I agree. I mean, I think, like, you know, as a bottom, as a non-top, there's only so much you can take. But there is, you know, the G-spot is a real thing in the butt. So like, it's nice when it can reach the G-spot. So does it have to go a certain length to reach it? Oh, that's a great question. Maybe it's not the, what is the, the motion of the ocean? Is that a saying? The quiver of the river. Yeah, It'd yeah. Would be a little smaller. Yeah, one. yeah. The way I see it, everything below the waist is like, you only use that a certain fraction of the day. Sure. The rest of it is like chest up. Yeah. You're walking around with somebody, you're holding their hand, you're like putting your arm around their shoulder, <laughs> going to like see movies, or going to eat. And your size obviously doesn't matter for who no. you're sitting next to the movie. Do people list their sizes on Grindr? If you're looking to hook up, that'll be one of the first few questions that is, people is, ask. Is there a pressure that if you give the wrong answer that you won't get to meet? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I guess the thing about hooking up is that, you know, when you're looking for a date, you're looking for a full package, but when you're looking to hook up, are there people who are just looking for the package? Yeah, absolutely. So do you feel there's like an expectation to like be a certain size? I think there are certain expectations or certain hopes when you bring somebody home. But in my experience, it's always just been more about a connection with the two people, even if it is just for a hookup. But I have been in situations where I've gotten intimate with people who were vastly different sizes than me. By size, are you talking about height or length? Height. Person size, not penis size. Person size. And it did make things complicated. Aha. Uh -huh. Certain uh, certain maneuvers. Mm -hmm. It was very awkward in the positions that we had to get into oh, yeah, yeah. in order for things to touch the area it's supposed to touch. It would make for a very complicated 69. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's yeah. like my foot in his mouth. <laughs> well, that's good for our foot fetish audience out there. <laughs> Just let that sink in for yeah. a little bit. You know, I always think that like tall guys, as, as speaking as a short guy, have like a natural advantage because they stand out in a crowd. So, so I feel like maybe that's like I dated tall guys because it was easy. You'd spot them <laughs> through <laughs> the crowd. There's a guy, <laughs> like, a like a gay safari. You're like, oh, let's see him. Um, but now that I'm with a, 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 par a partner who is uh, closer to my height, he's just a little bit taller than me. I find it makes cuddling uh, much nicer. Yes. And really, that, isn't that what it all comes down to? So I think the moral would be... Uh, There's a moral? <laughs> Please. I think the moral Please. is... Uh, um, that size uh, can make a difference, but it doesn't matter. No, wait, does that make sense? I'm not sure that constitutes no. a moral. <laughs> we'll be back right after these grinder messages. When you see someone, even if you're not conscious of you doing it, you probably have an image in your head of like what size they'd be. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so like, I think it's different for people based on, you know, your height or body type. Uh, you know, a, an average penis size is gonna look different on someone who is like below average height or someone who's above average height. So, you know, even like saying what your length is doesn't actually tell the, the whole story. There's so many other factors, you know, your, your height, your body weight, you know, how you fit with your partner size that make a difference beyond just like a number on a ruler. That. That, that's the moral of the story. Well, as always, we'd like to throw this sizable question out to you guys and see what do you guys think? Yeah, talk to us. 
Uh, share your thoughts. Share your size. <laughs> Comments, questions, numbers, cold hard facts. Yeah. Uh, and we will read them. Size. Does it matter? That's what we're gonna find out. Improve conclusively. We're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that sounds terrible. We're not gonna find out. <laughs>